There is a lot of talk about where LeBron James will head if he does decide to leave Cleveland after this season as we all expect the Cleveland Cavaliers to at some point fall short of an NBA championship this season. Rather, it's in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Boston Celtics led by former point guard Kyrie Irving or if they get to the NBA Finals and face off against the Golden State Warriors which they got one game on them last year in the NBA Finals. The Warriors have gotten better and the Cavs have gotten worse. We don't expect that series to be much of a matchup if the Cavs can even get back. Or heck, maybe the Cavs lose in the second round to Toronto. Heck, maybe the Cavs lose in the first round to a team like Miami or an upcoming team like Philadelphia. Who knows? The Cavs are struggling right now. LeBron is not happy is what we do know. And if LeBron James decides to leave Cleveland, he's already bought a championship for the land. If he decides to leave Cleveland, leave this terrible organization, leave Dan Gilbert, who crossed him once, after he believed LeBron crossed him, there will be every team in the NBA, maybe outside of Golden State, interested in, we don't even know if Golden State's not interested at this point. Every team will try their play at LeBron James. A 33-year-old quote-unquote aging superstar who will be in year 16 next year will still be the hottest commodity on the market just to see if you can get this guy to come to your team. According to multiple reports, he's brought over a billion dollars to local businesses in the Cleveland and surrounding areas. Every team, every city, every organization would love to be able to promise their city I'm going to bring in a guy that's going to bring in that type of money to the city. Everybody wants that, right? So you're going to have teams that never would have thought they could acquire a meeting with a guy like LeBron James, possibly getting a meeting. LeBron has said, and his team have said, everything's going to be on the table. If I were LeBron James, though, the team that no one's really talking about, that they should be talking about after their latest moves, I would be considering, this is going to sound crazy, but if I were LeBron James, I'd give the Los Angeles Clippers a strong look. <laughs> but if I were LeBron James, I'd give the Los Angeles Clippers a strong look. All right, the Clippers traded Blake Griffin earlier in the week by surprise. We expected guys like DeAndre Jordan and Lou Williams to be the first to go if any were going to leave that Los Angeles Clippers team that's about to enter a soft rebuild mode. But if I was LeBron, I'd think about this long and hard, all right? The Clippers, though we a lot of us believe they might be cursed, there's a lot of reason to join this team now after getting rid of Blake Griffin. Well, speaking of Blake Griffin, I just don't believe LeBron James and Blake Griffin would have meshed well. LeBron, of course, a guy that dominates the basketball. Blake's at his best where he's on the post looking to get himself a shot, get to the rim, or make that little inside pass to DeAndre Jordan for the easy two. Blake's a pretty decent assist guy himself. I just don't think LeBron James and Blake Griffin will figure it out together. They're both about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, Heck, many might argue that LeBron's a shade bigger than Blake Griffin, who's supposed to be the power forward, and LeBron's supposed to be the, the small forward. I just don't think they mesh well. And also, if you're LeBron, you get to pick everything in this situation. The Clippers are starting over completely. If you want to keep DeAndre Jordan around, you can keep him. The Clippers can find some way to sign him, even though he's a free agent this summer. If you want to have Lou Williams around, you can keep him. Steve Ballmer will give LeBron James the keys to this organization that Dan Gilbert was simply unwilling to give LeBron without a long-term commitment. He'll, they'll do it for a year or two and see how it works with LeBron James. LeBron has a home in the Los Angeles area, a couple homes reportedly. If you want to get to Los Angeles, the Lakers maybe are not your selection. Maybe you want to think about joining a Clippers team with less already in place. Sometimes less is better. Speaking of the Los Angeles team, the Lakers, they don't look to be going anywhere anytime soon. Maybe you don't want to join a team that's led by Lonzo Ball. You know you wouldn't be the primary ball handler there. Maybe you don't want to join a team with a guy like Brandon Ingram where we don't know if he's going to be really good or really bad at this point. Kyle Kuzma plays hard, but sometimes it looks as if he's out there by himself. Julius Randle, we don't know if he's going to be a guy that you can build around or not. 
It's starting to get to that point where you kind of got to move on and make a decision on him. Larry Nance Jr., he's a really good dunker, but he hasn't found his game yet. A lot of young, immature guys, they listen to Lonzo Ball on the airplane. I don't think LeBron James strikes me as an immature guy who's going to want to listen to the Lonzo Ball rap. He's all about winning championships. Speaking of the Lakers, that culture is kind of toxic, and a lot of people blame Luke Walton for that culture that's now present in L.A. With the Clippers, you don't got to worry about that if you're LeBron. You can either A, keep Doc Rivers there, or I'm pretty sure B, you can go get a Mark Jackson, bring him from the sidelines to leave ESPN, which is not what it used to be. Their ratings are down. You can go get Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy, or any coach available out there you can get them to join your Clippers team. Steve Ballmer is on the last legs of Doc Rivers. He'd only keep Doc Rivers around after this season if LeBron James said, I want Doc Rivers to be my head coach. What if LeBron James wanted to play with his friends? This would be the perfect opportunity for LeBron to say, yo, Melo, if you guys lose in the second round to the Warriors, uh, y'all never getting over the hump of the Warriors. Want to come play with me? D-Wade, yo, we already did it in Cleveland. We did it in Miami. How about we go to a warm city? If we're going to lose games, let's at least have fun losing. Let's go join Melo and company down in Los Angeles and at least have some fun and enjoy the boats. We can be the banana boat crew all over again. Yo, Chris Paul, what if Houston gets eliminated in the first round? You're a free agent. You're my buddy. Want to come back to the Clippers? You love Bomber. All the people that you didn't like will be gone. We can get rid of Doc. We got rid of Blake already. We can get rid of anybody else in that locker room that doesn't like you. Why not? We got the cap room to do it. You guys figure the numbers out. Steve Ballmer has a net worth of $20 billion. One thing Steve Ballmer is not worried about right now is money, and he's already said he's committed to winning after buying this team from racist owner Donald Sterling. Money ain't the issue with him. He just wants to lift his curse off the Clippers' back. Speaking of curses, LeBron, you tired of your finals record taking hits? Tired of going up against Golden State and losing in the NBA Finals? Well, come on over to the West. The fans will still vote you in as the NBA All-Star starter at Small Forward, no matter who's over there. You'll beat out Kevin Durant for that spot for sure. Kobe Bryant was an All-Star starter until the day he retired. You'll still get that spot. And if you lose against the Warriors, now it's in the Western Conference Finals, not the NBA Finals. Michael Jordan didn't lose in the Finals, but he lost in other rounds. Now you can work on that legacy. You know if you can get past Golden State, you can beat anything in the East. So, hey, you don't even got to worry about losing in the Finals and your Finals record becoming 3-9, and 3-10, and a la Jerry Westis. Go ahead and join the Western Conference. Battle against Golden State. If you lose, you lose. Your finals record doesn't get damaged anymore. You can come to the Los Angeles Clippers, have some fun, enjoy the beaches, enjoy the banana boat crew, figure out the finances, and just worry about LeBron. Not Cleveland, not feeling as though you got the whole organization on your back. This can all be about LeBron if you want to give Steve Ballmer and the Clippers a shot, and I believe LeBron should do that this summer.